Hello ladies and gentlemen and in today's video we're going to be showing you how you can build agency quality websites in no time at all. You can save yourself an absolute fortune on templates, on designers and uh, you can even sell those sites to your clients. Welcome to Cyber Tactics. Hello there, yeah, and today we're taking a look at a thing called Theme Maker. Now, the problem uh, that uh, you're, uh, you're, you're going to get with um, web design and providing web design as a, as a service is that it's expensive. If you don't want to do it yourself, if you don't want to be mired in the problems of, of HTML and CSS and all of those other things, then the only way to do it really is to... Uh, buy in the experience of somebody else. Well, that can cost an awful lot of money. I mean, that can cost between anything between $2,000 to $10,000 to develop a theme uh, on, on your own. And the off the shelf solutions, if you're trying to use those for clients, well, they're no good either. Because the problem with those is they can be used by anyone. What's the point of building a website of putting time and energy and money and your client's time and energy and money into creating a site, which your competitors can rip off quite legitimately by just buying the same theme. So most themes and frameworks, they're slow, they're bloated, they, there's, um, they're not particularly good for, uh, for SEO, they're not particularly quick when you come to, to test them out later, and you need a decent solution for this. Well, enter Theme Maker. Um, Theme Maker is uh, by ProStyler. ProStyler have got a really great reputation when it comes to uh, actually creating themes. They really look after uh, the people who uh, who buy from them um the guy in charge mike form is a lovely guy uh who um really knows his stuff really knows his wordpress stuff and what you're going to get when you when you take a look at theme maker is is designed from someone who has clearly done this before many many times and understands those sort of pitfalls that you come into when when you're you're uh, creating a a website and this thing can actually build themes that are agency quality that you wouldn't expect from uh you know a, a small one man band web developer something which are, uh, uh just there's a little bit more to them there's a, they there's a little bit more in the look and feel of them uh that actually makes this a a, a a pretty good thing now i played with this yesterday um and i created a whole website and this was a proper website for a client and it took an hour and 20 minutes now, obviously, I'd talked to the client before and I had a few things like the logo ready and a couple of images that I wanted to use. But other than that, the whole process took just that short amount of time. And we had a website that isn't finished, but it's got a home page there. It's got the blog set up. It's ready to go in terms of going back to the client and saying, look, here is your website. And I, I can imagine that actually with only a few hours more, some two or three hours more, we'll build up the pages that they need and you'll be able to get something which is uh, which is really good in, in a few hours. Now imagine how good that is. If you, and you know, ProStyler comes in two versions. There's a personal version and there's an agency version. So I'm very much looking at the whole agency version here. And if, if you're providing this as a service to your client, sure, you can get ProStyler and you can make your own theme, uh, your own website for yourself or for however many projects that you want to use. That's great. But the agency version is where it really, really comes to life and where you can really actually make some money off using this, this tool. Um, so think about it like this you you've got your own digital agency and you need to make websites you need to make them quickly and you need to make them affordably well how quick is putting something together over say two or three hours that's going to be the entire website that your client needs that's to me and i've been doing website design for 10 years there is nothing else that is quite so quick as this that is quite as as um as quick and easy to use uh so let's just take a quick uh jump into the tool uh into the uh, website that i built yesterday and you'll be able to see what i'm talking about so here we are this is uh law's pause it's a uh, uh, doggy uh 
daycare and pet care center. No content in there from the client yet. Um, this area here was going to be for the, um, uh, the, uh, lead magnet, which we haven't done yet, but that's, that's the idea for that. Um, we've got our menu in there and that does a drop down as well. It's just that I not, don't have to set it up for this particular website. Um, and all of this was really simple to put together. It just took a couple of minutes to, to track this in. In fact, building up this page, I think was the short, one of the shortest, uh, parts of the whole day for me yesterday. Uh, we've got a nice little quote there and, uh, you know, placeholder images still, admittedly, but easy to change for a different image if you wanted to later on. Uh, then we've got a few bits from the blog um, before we get down to a testimonial section. Um, and again, you know, I didn't have everything from the client that I would have needed to put everything together. Uh, and then at the bottom there, a nice footer with terms and conditions and privacy and all of that sort of stuff. Um, we've also got a, a blog page set up because these are the two important ones. Um, and again, this took minutes to set up. Um, it, not, not very long at all, uh, cause this is a, basically their own, um, uh, the, the, the module, which you can load in and then suddenly you've got blog pages, which I, I thought was pretty, pretty cool. Um, there aren't many other systems, uh, that do something which is, uh, which is quite, um, quite so, so close. So the homepage has got plenty of graphics on it. Um, not many, but enough. Uh, it, I haven't scrimped on the sort of graphic sizes. I haven't, I didn't compress this graphic when I put it in, uh, at all. So you're still looking at a, a pretty big graphic when you're, um, uh, when you're viewing this. Uh, and even so, I did a quick, uh, speed test before we started today, just so that you can see this, because this is the, the thing that I, I, I wanted you to take away from it. Look, this is lawspause.co.uk. Uh, we're going from Stockholm because that's our nearest thing. And look at the load time on that. One second, 35. And that's faster than 82% of other websites. And in, in a time when mobile sites are really, really important, that's important. You know, that speed that you get there, the performance of grade of 88 percent, uh, 88 that you get there. That's, that's amazing. And look at all of these. It, the only thing that isn't an A grade on here is the browser caching. And the only reason that that is, is because I turned it off in order to develop the website. So it'd be very easy to turn that back on again and make this a really, really quick, um, website. It's exactly what you need, uh, from a, th a th framework because most of these frameworks that you get they stuff them full of so many different uh features and benefits and that's great if you're going to use them all most people don't use them all and then all of that code is shoved into the home page uh, as well that's not the case here you've got a really lean um website which works on mobile devices uh, you, you have choices that you can do different things for responsive and different things for different screen sizes it's absolutely fantastic now, what I'm going to do is just jump into the back here very quickly. Um, and if you want, we're, we're going to release the video. In fact, we have released it, I think, already um, on how you can actually, uh, how I actually built this over the hour and 20 minutes because uh, it was it was just so quick. Uh, so I want to show you uh, ProStyler uh, Theme Maker just there. Uh, this is the... Um, wizard really i suppose you'd call it uh, and each one of these sections you just go down you fill in the relevant information you can choose a default playout uh, layout look whether you want a default one or custom width or full width uh, you can choose your background color your main colors and these are our primary colors for the for the thing and the great thing about this actually is you choose your primary colors and then anytime you need to select a color in the background in the um uh, as a color picker they're actually listed there so a lot of a lot of frameworks make you type in the hex code again and this one doesn't and i really liked that it's a it's a really good time saving device uh you've got typography here um which actually said a basic font size and a font family and everything really quick buttons on here as well again you get to choose the basics of all of your buttons and even though you've chosen that basic in the actual uh, button itself if you wanted to change uh, a, a button to be something different you can still do that as well so even though all your basic button things are set up you can still go in and you have that ability to um, customize as much as you need as much as your client needs as well uh, content settings you don't 
don't need to worry about it too much. This is where you add in widgetized sidebars that you can you do whatever you want with. Uh, there's a page builder setting there, and you can show whether you want uh, caching. You see, caching is off at the moment. Um, and whether you want to disable the page builder for either posts or pages, you might want to say to your clients, look for a post, just type a post and it will appear and then everything will be fine. But for pages, you might want to actually design those. So you might want to turn that bit off uh, for them. Licensing, very simple. You put your license code in the thing uh, and it's it's done. Um, you've got import and export options. Um, which, uh, again, really simple to use. You can download um, data files so you can actually import all of your options into a new theme. If you wanted to have a sort of default settings for all of the websites you can you produce, you can do that there. Um, and, uh, it, it, you know, it's, that's going to save you even more time. And then you come into, oh, we've got admin down here uh, where, yeah, uh, if you were... Um, if you have the right license, you can rebrand all of this so that it's it looks like your own uh, thing. Um, and then we've got templates. And templates, if you uh, get an agency license, I think you get all of these templates with it. Um, and they're great starting places. Let me just preview one of these for you so you can see what they look like. There you go. Nice and quick to load. And it's a nice... Look at the way that loads in. That's lovely, isn't it? Uh, it's a nice... Um, theme for people who want to make um, a magazine of some description or something like that. I love that image as well. It just looks gorgeous. Um, okay, so, you know, easy to choose one of those and then import that. There's frameworks that you've got here as well. And what I did yesterday is I started with this framework. And that just basically imports some pages. It sets up a very basic WordPress framework for you. Um, and then it lets you get on with it. And I liked that, actually. I thought that was a really good um, uh, good idea. So let's quickly go into to tell you about these. You've got elements and presets. And these are bits that you can copy from your website um, and go, OK, well, I'll save that as an element or I'll save that as a preset. And the uh, presets in particular are very good because you can save, say, your header and footer as a preset, and um, which is what I've done here. And every time you need to add those onto a template, you just have to drag and drop them into the right place it's really quick and really easy to do and it actually comes with a load of presets already um, added in as well so let's go into pages and finally take a quick look at uh, this home page that we built up yesterday as well this is what it looks like you can see it's all all the bits that you saw in there are in there so you've got a, a heading there with some text you've got a heading there with some text and an image and if we click on that image um, it opens up a preview of the uh, of what you're looking at, of the, the sort of the uh, row that you're looking at. Because you can do rows and columns and everything in here as well, like you, like you would expect. Easy to do. You select your image. You select your size. Uh, you can choose if on click you want to uh, go to something or you want to show an image or uh, take no action, which is what most of them are set to. Uh, set your alt text and things. I didn't do that. I should have done, really. Um, but you can set that within the within the thing. Uh, that's good for SEO. In styling, you can um, copy from a different element. If you've got um, one image set up that you already want uh, done, easy enough to copy that sort of stuff. Uh, you can choose the um, container style. So if I change that to circle look, it'll, it'll make it into a circle or thumbnail make it into a thumbnail. Um, I quite like rounded, which is where it was. Uh, you've got uh, padding. And this is the thing about um, responsive look. You can change the margin and everything based on uh, what layout you want to use. Really great. And then you've got these little animation things, really simple animation things. Like, again, not bloated like some of these things are, but they are just as effective. If you wanted to slide this in from the right like that as the page loads, and then we save that. It's all done. It's as quick as that. Uh, so then we build up the um, other parts of the web page. We've got the, uh, the that's the, the, the text underneath. So to edit text, very simple. You get a text box. You edit the text. You've got styling there that you can change as well. You can change your fonts or text sizes or color, everything like that. You can add in animations and things like that as well. Um, then if you would go on to the next bit, the next bit is uh, the um, little quote 
So again, we've got a text block, very simple. Um, and then on the other side, we've got a spacer. And the spacer just means that you, you get to see the image um, all the time. Uh, and then the image is on, a, on the background behind it. Each one of these things are rows, and you can add a column to a row by just clicking that button. Um, or you can delete a row by clicking that button. Each column has its own styling. You can see I've put the image in there. Uh, each um, row has its own styling. Again, choosing height and stuff and all of that. You, and you also have, these are the hide on, the, these are the um, responsive things. So you can hide it on small screens or desktops and tablets or desktop only. Or so if you wanted to create a, uh, a row that was just for mobile, you choose mobile only. Uh, or if you want it for just desktops and tablets, or just desktops, or, you know, very simple. Very, very simple. Um, so that's it. That's that's the, the way that you build this thing up. Um, and that's not everything as well. There's, there's things like the page wizard, which, uh, let me just show you this. If we go into one of the other pages, let's go into the services page, which we haven't done anything with the services page yet let's say that we're going to go we're going to use this page wizard and this is where this is a really powerful feature of the software where you can choose a category from up here choose say i don't know a pricing table for example let's choose a pricing table that's going to talk about all the services drag that on there and suddenly you've got a pricing table and you know all of these are going to be um are going to be stylable and you can change uh, whatever you want or, or you can go into content because maybe you want some content and maybe you want some content that looks like that and some content underneath that that looks like that um, and maybe we want uh, some more that looks like this um, and this just builds up the content of that particular page so that it looks uh, a particular way. You've got portfolio stuff there. You can talk about the team. So maybe on services before we get to the pricing, we want to talk about the team. Um, it, it's all really simple to do. And then just by generating the page, that'll generate all the content um, that's going to be on the page. And then all you've got to do is style it. So it's really, really quick to build up those pages that actually look pretty damn good. Uh, now, I'm not going to save this because this is, a, again, a client's website. So um, so there we go. Anyway, that is is the basics of, of using uh, ProStyler. Um, and for me, for my money, and like I said, I've been in this industry for quite some time now. I've been making websites for 10 years, um, and I've been doing marketing around that time as well, and, and, and a bit a bit longer for some bits like that as well. Um, and I have used every single system that is meant to make your website quicker and easier to understand. Everyone. I promise you every single one uh headway was a favorite of mine elementary is a favorite of mine uh, beaver builder um what else was there divi builder i've done the lot and actually pro styler has been not the easiest i mean they're all they're, there's all a, there's a level of understanding that you need with each one of these themes and they you don't always get it right admittedly um and if you watch the video that i put together yesterday you'll see i'll, I'll fumble over some things and have to go back and redo stuff but that's part of the learning process and for me as somebody who kind of understands how websites work i could pick this up i could use it straight away i could produce results that were not only good but good enough to to give to a client and i gave this to my client last night and the response I got was, I love the layout. So, I mean, how, how about you could do that? Every single time you produced a website, you could do that. And you could get a response like that. Because you're not having to worry about the minutiae of building a website. You're not have to, having to worry about taking hours and hours and hours to pr produce a result. You get these results quickly. You, it's easy to use. If clients want to make changes, you don't suddenly have to jump into a load of code to mess around with it. It's not like buying a theme, where if a client says, actually, I don't like that bit, you have to fiddle around in the theme options to try and turn it off the layouts the the content it's all down to you and 
these things make it so easy to actually build those pages up. Um, I, I love it. I think this is a really, really good thing. And I think if you're working in WordPress at all, then you really want to be considering um, a theme maker uh, over any other thing before you start. Anyway, that's what I think. I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching our little review of uh, theme maker. And until next time, thanks very much for coming along and good night. <laughs>